Ah, Molly, come on in and have a seat. What do you have for me? Molly, the mayor wants you to investigate a very delicate matter. We believe that Sunny Meadow is stealing our stormwater. Stormwater? How? The rain gardens are collecting rain, but the water isn't soaking into the soil. So Molly, we need you to figure this out. Okay. What's my first move? You need to talk to the watershed district. Those are the people that convinced us to do the rain gardens. Goldie, I'm gonna need you on this one. So, so these are our rules. Um, uh, states that you're uh, allowed watershed districts uh, such as ourselves to uh, promulgate rules governing uh, different stormwater management in our district. Wow, that's a lot of rules. A lot? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you know, that's for flood plan and wet loss mitigation, mitigation and banking. Um, these also deal with judicial districts of, of different sorts that were created for, um... Can you cut to why the rain gardens are failing? Uh, 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 well, uh, just off the top of my head, <laughs> uh, we require erosion and sediment control during construction to prevent sediment from washing into a feature and sealing it, so. Sealing? You mean like making a pond in sandy soil? Exactly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, the finer particles released by erosion can actually clog, you know, coarse soil. That's actually what happened here in the hilly area right there. But uh, by the time the uh, contractor dealt with the erosion, it was too late. I had better get going. This sometimes happens when I bring a mascot to the job. Well, wait, are you sure? Because, I mean, we can keep going through the rules. I mean, they're really, really easy. I mean, there's only a few of them, so. Wait! my cell phone. Tell me, Jim, do you know any reasons why the rain gardens failed? Goldie? The truck. Look at the size of that beast. Our access road ran right over some of the rain garden locations. And the soil got compacted. No more pore space. I'll show you. Squish. No, you didn't hear this from me. The boss doesn't want us to talk about it. So why did you put the access roads over the rain gardens? Hey. We didn't screw up all the rain gardens, just the ones by the county road. Hey, what are you doing here? I gotta go. Stop her!
Hi there. What can you tell me about the Echo Valley Rain Gardens? Ah, yeah, the soils, some of the soils there had some really negative vibes, and so we put in an underdrain system in it. Negative vibes? Ah, yeah, sister, like really heavy soils, you know, and so it's just uh, hard for that rain garden to breathe. Yeah, heavy soils are clay, but I know that area and those are sandy loam soils. Even a small layer of clay can stifle that natural balance that Mother Nature had. Um, I'm sorry, can you hold on just one moment? Sure. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, brother. I can get that to you, no problem. Peace. Oh. <sighs> oh, just so sorry. Leave it, it's... It's all an act, and I even hunt. You should see my 12-point at home. Yeah, I suppose taxidermy and pictures of prominent conservative politicians might hurt your business. But don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. So, isn't filtration giving up on the whole rain garden soak into the earth concept? No, filtration is a good alternative. The, the watershed approves it. Yeah, I've seen that rain garden, and even with the underdrain system, it's still holding water. What happened? <sighs> this is what happened. This is what they installed for the underdrain. So how can it work without any holes? It doesn't. This is where we are running a water table study. As you know, water tables go up and down, sometimes as much as six feet, depending on how much rain we've been getting. Check this out. How did you do that? It's just an old soil science trick. If you look closely, these little red spots, we call these models. They indicate how high the water table level is. I do know that soil borings were taken at the Fox Ridge rain garden sites. You're absolutely right. However, sometimes the models get missed. And we just take note of the current water table level. During a drought, it would seem like a great place to have a rain garden. Yes. But with all the rain we've had lately, it's been so wet. Exactly. And the water table's high. And the stormwater has nowhere to go. So you're saying that it wasn't really theft? Correct. And in case you didn't believe me, I brought in Mayor Fisher from Sunny Meadows. Oh, how could this sweet woman steal our stormwater? I'm sorry about this whole mix-up. Now before we talk about it, would anyone like some cookies? <laughs> 